I going to do this? I don't know. Yeah. Welcome to episode 7, guys. This one is an Exmoor. It's pretty exciting. Very scary. And I'm sat in the van and it's like quarter past four in the morning. <sighs> Am I going to do this? I don't know. I feel like I owe it to myself to do it. But oh, I'm a bit scared. I'm a bit bloody scared. I'm going for a super dawny. Get in really early. And I'm absolutely bricking it. Could be quite sizable, I don't know. Uh, I'm going to try and tell on the surf check, but at the moment I'm in this beautiful cottage nestled um, just near Exford. I've got a long off road lane now with plenty of gates and mud, so let's get going. I've arrived. It's looking like this is going to be a goer. The waves don't sound apocalyptically big, so I won't poo myself too much. And I drove over the top of the Exmoor, and that is so foggy. And I was like, this ain't going to happen. You just cannot night surf in fog. The light just like pings off all the moisture in the air, and then you're done basically. So as I dropped down into Lynmouth, it just cleared out. That was awesome. Now, I'm not going to tell you guys like what the best conditions to surf Lynmouth are and best tide state and direction or any of that because I just don't think it's the right thing to do. I mean, I can, I'm going to name it, and I have done, because it's not a secret spot, so I'm not giving away anything. The, the real value is the knowledge when it works, and that is... That's locked away, so that, that's not coming out. But I just, the, the reason I've come here to night surf is that you need predictability with night surfing because you lose the ability to kind of analyse what's coming in. So, to bring it back in your favour for night surfing, you want a mechanical way, the thing that's going to do the same thing every time, so you can look at what it, the last one did, position yourself with the best chance of getting the wave. So, yeah, I <coughs> got my kit ready. Just had a cold, not ideal. But I think I think I'm fine. I think I think I'll be okay. Um, but yeah, get changed. I should have about an hour before first light, um, and then I'll be the guy in the lineup with the massive light on my helmet, which always feels great. <laughs> Kits already. Got my battery here. Oh, it's a good opportunity actually to give a shout out to Gecko Helmets. They hooked me up with this. Their, uh, their one surf helmet and it's glow in the dark which is awesome anyway thanks to those guys this is going to be the first use in anger I've got another one of their helmets but it's about 15 years old let's give it a go now if I turn around you can see that's the waves guys absolutely firing isn't it oh my god firing <laughs> Obviously, I can see nothing either. running down this road, climbing over walls and across boulders. You can't really see what you're running into. You get a little bit of comfort from the fact the light is lighting up so much. But at the end of the day, you're about to paddle out into the ocean in the darkness with nobody else there. No, no mates to keep you company. It's pretty weird. And it's a bit of a mind game, but I kind of love it. I'm 
the water's edge now. Looks a good size. This is all coming together. The visibility is really good. Psyched on that. Nearly like fell a billion times on these rocks though. They are slippery as shit. Anyway, let's get this done. Stoked. Quite a lot of flies around. Had this problem in the Maldives. Didn't think I'd get it here. But yeah. There are some waves out there guys. Woohoo! <laughs> The water's got sediment in it because we're in the River Seven. The Seven SD. So it lights up. It's brilliant. Yeah. Oh, and because it breaks like a boat break, I can see the white water coming. And then it just broke past. Great. I can't see the big steps coming, but not too bad in this spot. Yeah. Literally two seconds after I said that little that little piece you guys. I just got caught inside by a four way set. Oh, I told you I couldn't see the big one. But it's alright. <laughs> oh, people must think I'm an absolute nutter. So I just fucking love it. Whew. Well, there's nobody else out. <laughs> Yee! Cold is definitely affecting me. Fucking hell. Woo! <laughs> Alright, guys. Oh, it's been a fun one. I've been in here an hour now. Thank you. I'm not going to lie, I was getting pretty frustrated at times. The waves weren't running properly, and I was surfing really badly, my paddling, my posture was poor, and my cold was getting to me. Ah, I was just getting really frustrated.
the thing that's even more frustrating is that I did catch more waves and I did catch better waves than I recorded. When you've got a GoPro shoved in your mouth, it does take away from the pleasure of it. But then when you get a good wave and you weren't recording it, <laughs> it's super annoying. Do you guys want to get yourself one of these Black Swan surfing lights? Just head over to the Black Swan surfing website and you can use my coupon code, which is NIGHTSURFUK, all one word, and get yourself some money off. And you get to support this great company. They're only, you know, just starting out and they've got a fantastic product to find over two years. And just be a pioneer, guys. Get on this. It's sick. See ya.